Hi guys, this is Randy, your Rare Metals Guy here. Today I'm going to talk about tellurium. Tellurium is a rare industrial metal in an element with an atomic number of 52 and the lettering TE on the periodic table of the elements. Tellurium has a melting point of 449.51 degrees Celsius. One of the funny things that you hear about tellurium is that you can't handle it because it will give you body odor. Well, this is only true if you have tellurium toxicity, which is caused by ingestion. So now that the myth is out of the way, here is a one kilogram chunk of 99.99% pure tellurium, which is used for industry. It's really pretty, but it's heavy. It's heavy like lead. Tellurium is mainly a byproduct of copper mining, and approximately 90% of the total amount mined comes from copper mining. Estimates are that around 150 to 500 tons are mined annually. This metal is critical to many nations' national security and energy policies. And if you want to know more information about that, you can go to our website and look up the British Geological Survey and the EU Survey and the USGS Survey that was done concerning the critical elements. According to the U.S. National Energy Laboratory, the maximum that can be mined annually is 1,600 tons. This is based on the amount of copper being mined. The inherent problem with tellurium is the fact that it's such a small market. Copper miners do not want to invest in better ways of extracting the metal because there is no financial incentive. Tellurium has many uses including semiconductors, computer memory or RAM, solar cells, photodiodes, and as an alloying component. Its largest use is in alloying, but that is changing quickly. Lately we have heard that cadmium telluride solar cells are cheaper than regular solar cells and more efficient. Cadmium telluride solar cells can be purchased for about $1.75 per watt. And when you see solar cells achieving a dollar per watt, the use of solar will increase. This is called parity. With the nations of the world deciding to put solar panels on government buildings and subsidizing solar, this is bound to have a huge impact on the price of tellurium in the future. There was an article a few months back that asked if tellurium was the new gold. I think any metal that is used in everyday products and in the green movement has a huge potential. If you would like to know more about rare industrial metals, feel free to contact myself or the team at SwissMetalAssets.com and we'll help you out. Thank you and have a great day.